Before we head down to the field for the coin toss, we'd like to remind you this game is brought to you by Coke Zero. Real Coke taste, zero calories. Enjoy everything. Tulane will be kicking off, and you can just feel the energy in the air for this opening kickoff. From the seven, he's out to the 30, and he has it on the corner, and he's shoved out of bounds right around the 46-yard line. The quarterback brings his troops out onto the field for the first drive of the game. You know, at that point, I think, Brad, the quarterback's just better off just taking a sack. You have to be very careful as you're feeling pressure to throw the ball just to throw the ball. If you feel like you're not going to be able to make a play and the defense got you, just give up on that play and get ready for the next down. Up the middle for a nice game. They need about three yards to get the first down here on third down. Rose falling back and finds his man. And they push him out at about the 39-yard line. He showed you right there why a defense can never lose tabs on. Take your eye off him in coverage, and he'll create a big play. Nice run there. Bowser gained seven yards on that play. That'll bring up second and three. They need about three yards to get the first here on second down. He's tackled at the 31-yard line. A one-yard gain by the halfback. Makes it out to about the 23. Brad, I think offensive coordinators spend more time focusing on two areas for an offense. Third down conversions and red zone offense. Right now, this offensive coordinator has to be really happy with the way this offense is executing in their third downs. That's the second time they've been able to get a first down in this drive on third down. And he gets a yard on the run. And that was the junior corner who will get credit with that tackle. And this is the eighth play of the drive. And he's tackled after positive yardage. It's third down, and they're about two yards shy of the sticks. And that's their third first down of the drive. The defense needs to figure out a way to stop them, or else they're going to have no problem putting points on the board. This is the tenth play of this drive. Hands it off. Brought down around the five-yard line. That makes it second and two. So it's second down and about two yards to go. the stop at the two-yard line and they keep it on the ground for the first down nothing too fancy here the key is that the running back was able to convert the first down here's the 12th play of the drive touchdown Knights the extra point 
It was a 12-play, 54-yard drive, and they add seven points to the scoreboard. And Brad, right now, the offensive line just winning the battle in the trenches, opening up some big running lines. So our score, 7-0. And he got all of this one. Great kick. He's to the 20. Oh, he got nailed on that one. The quarterback leads the team out on the field for the first drive. He's scrambling. Tackle at about the 29-yard line. From their own 29-yard line, second down. And he carries the ball for a nice game. Anytime a defender tries to pick up a fumble and run with it instead of just falling on it, man, did it work out for him here for a big time play in the score. And he converts the extra point. Looks like they're ready for the kick. He'll return it from the three. He's tackled at the 27. No matter how much people want to talk about points and offense, I still think that the best offense is a great defense. When you put a zero up there, it makes it pretty easy on your own offense to go out there and win the game. This offense has got to try to pull it all together now after the fumble cost them six points just moments ago. I know as a quarterback, it's always hard to watch the defense score a touchdown on you, but it was always a reminder to take extra care of the football. They bring the quarterback down. He has one job on passing situations, get to the quarterback, and he did that job very, very well on that play. They find themselves in a hole here after that sack at second and long. They spread the field in the gun with five wide receivers. Throws it and it's tipped away. You know, nothing makes a defensive coordinator happier than seeing a corner make a play like that. It's great technique, he's in position, he knocked that football away, and it's almost as if he's closing one side of the field down for this defense. Throws it deep. He hauls it in and gets out of bounds. This secondary better tighten it up if they're gonna slow down this drive. So the big gain resulting from the pass play leaves us with a first and 10. Tackled after a decent pickup. up again on third down. 22, 22, 22. Defense goes with the extra defensive backs as the offense comes up five wide. Complete across the middle. And he's tackled at about the 31. He is such a reliable target. You throw it anywhere near him and this guy's going to get his hands on it and make a catch.
fires that quickly incomplete. A little too much juice on that one. And this quarterback sometimes gets a little bit too excited back there and tries to put too much on it. He's got to relax and just make a good throw. And this play is number eight on the drive. They'll bring him down around the 23-yard line. They line up for another third down, and they've had no problem converting their first two. Fires quickly, and he's got his man. Nice play to set up first and goal. Well, they're living on the edge here a little bit, but, you know, they're converting when they have to. Here's play number 10 on the drive. And down he goes around the four yard line. It's second and goal, four yards out. Taken down right around the four yard line. And this is the 12th play of the drive. And he's taken down around the one yard line. The back gets three on the carry. They're going to go for the easy three here. yet to go but at the end of one the Knights lead it by two touchdowns welcome back here we resume action now here in the second quarter he gets it up and it sails through the uprights Glover looks ready to kick this one off. He's to the 20. He gets out to about the 25-yard line. You think about the challenges these two teams are facing. On one side, you've got to find a way to keep building on your lead, and on the other side, you've got to find a way to get back in it. He makes it to the 28-yard line. Second down and seven. Ball on their own 28. And he almost has the INT. They'll spread the field with five wide. And it's caught, and he's brought down quickly. Jackson fields it at the 30. He gets out to about the 42-yard line. It was a pretty one-sided first quarter, but I wouldn't be surprised if things changed in a big way before halftime. Fires quickly to the tight end. Tackle made right around the 50. It's second down, and they're about two yards away from the sticks. Takes it up the middle for a nice run.
They'll spread the field here. Let's see what the defense does with a five wide outlook. Complete. He's got room. He's tackled around the 36 yard line. Short yardage situation here. It's second down and one. He makes it to the 35 yard line. tailback and he's met in the backfield looks like they've decided to go for it here in the open field. Play action here. He's going to scramble. Here's the eighth play of the series. Scrambling around, and he's going to be sacked. Sometimes it's just a relentless pass rush that results in a sack. That's what happened there. Third down now, and they need to get it to the 22. Runs it left for a decent game. And they can make this a one-possession game with this kick right here. It's up, and he got it. That one looked like cake for this kid. Chalk up three points for the offense. 14-6, UCS. Tulane gets set to kick this one away. Taken from the three-yard line. Gets out to about the 21. Momentum swings have been fairly even. And with so little separation, this game can be drastically changed on just one or two plays. Central Florida is up by eight. They'll wrestle them down in the backfield. We'll give the defense all the credit here. And that one snuffed out from the start. It could have been an even bigger loss. From their own 20-yard line. Second down. Got some open field. Gains his way to the 29-yard line. That's a gain of nine on the play. That'll bring up third and two. Brought down after a nice run up the middle. We've got a first and ten. Ball on the 35-yard line. He's knocked out of bounds at the 32-yard line. He's got an opening. Gains his way to the 46-yard line. Makes 
First down, 10 to go. Ball on the 46-yard line. Quick throw out to the receiver, incomplete. Well, he must have hurried there because his receiver was wide open. There was no need to rush that one at all. Tries to pitch it, and now the ball is loose. He makes it out to maybe the 43-yard line. That's a big break for this defense. You know, this offense just can't afford to be getting hit with the turnover puck. They need to hold on to the football. In a game that's this close, you can't afford to waste possessions. Brought down around the 12-yard line. And that's the way you're supposed to play pitch and catch. Absolutely. You know, this wide receiver is a difference maker. He's one of those players that has a chance to go the distance every time you get him the ball. Spears on the pitch to the right. Tackled for a loss. They get maybe a yard on the toss. Second down, 10 to go. Ball on the 12. They'll line up with five wide receivers. Quick pass. Excellent open field tackle. That makes it third and three. gets rid of it great job by the defense at getting after that quarterback and right now I think they've got him with some happy feet he appears to be a bit rattled it's fourth down this one should be makeable kicks up and he got it and you got to think they're pretty happy with holding him to a field goal right there they line up to kick this one away He'll return it from the three. Tackle at the 29. Misfortune struck as their last drive ended in a fumble. You don't change your philosophy after one play. They'll be out doing the same thing as before, just with better awareness. Just throws this one away. It's second and ten. Ball on the 29. Just throws this one away. Screen pass. He's got his half back. And they make the stop right around the 30. Two lanes call their final timeout. McCarthy to punt. Every single time this offense has the ball, they're moving the football, but they're settling for field goals. And every time they settle for field goals, I've been watching the defense that they've been facing and watching how they run off the field to celebrate a job well done because they're not giving up touchdowns. That's a bad sign. In the shotgun and five wideouts. Quick strike to the receiver. Tackle at about the 43-yard line. They come out in a five-wide set. And he's hit immediately. He didn't have much of a chance on that play. Boy, this defense has a lot of speed. They're all over him by the time he caught the ball. He goes downtown. Can't connect. Third down now. They need to get it down to the 33. They'll make the sack. They get to the quarterback and end that play before it even got started. This young man didn't even have a chance to make something happen. It's tough to find your receivers when the defense is in your face like that.
after the sack, it's now fourth and long. Let's see if he aims for the sideline and tries to get this thing down deep in their own territory. We've still got a half of football remaining. The Knights lead is five. Glad to have you with us in the studio for the EA Sports NCAA Football 14 Halftime Show presented by Nissan. Innovation that excites. Reese Davis and David Pollock here completely locked in on that first half. I'm a fan of seeing guys one step wrap, two step squeeze, bring your feet, arrive with bad intentions. Uh -huh. uh, I don't want to take anything away from these defensive guys, David, but... Could this be that we're seeing a healthy dose of some pretty bad offense, too? It goes hand in hand, doesn't it, Reese? I mean, oh, sometimes. usually, sometimes, uh, you know, pretty good defense makes, you know, average offenses look really, really bad. But, you know, when you have a great defense and you can take something away, especially the strength of the other offense, and make them do things that they don't do exceptionally well. And, you know, don't let them throw the fastball, make them throw the curve. I and mean, you see great defenses be able to do that all the time. And, and that's when you can be ultra successful. You have to find ways to make people play, you know, the game out of their comfort zone. That's it for us here in the studio. What are you going to do in the second half while the game's going on? Yeah, I'm going to kick back and watch all these monitors. We'll keep you up to date on everything going on around the country right now. Time for the second half with Brad and Kirk. Jackson from the two. What a collision. For UCF, their pass rush has really been impressive today, Kirk. This defense has had success getting after the quarterback. They also have that one takeaway. This offense is not only struggling in the pass protection department, they're struggling to get yards. That's one of the effects of not being able to protect the quarterback. He's having to get rid of it in a hurry to a check down to avoid a sack. It's not very surprising to see them perform like this, actually. This deficit can be easily overcome, sure. But they have to be thinking if they don't get something going on this series, the burden is going to be felt by their defense. He's scrambling. Quarterback's going to run it, and he's got room to work. And he's tackled at the 36. It's second down, and they're about the length of the football from the first down marker. Balls it in as he's pushed out of bounds. Nice job here by the quarterback of putting some air underneath this pass and letting his receiver catch up with it for a nice game. First down, 10 yards to go. Ball on the 48-yard line. Now he's scrambling. And down he goes, around the 44-yard line. He's got the corner. They'll bring him down, around the 43-yard line. It's third and five. Ball on the 43. The quarterback in the gun with five receivers. And he's taken down at the 41-yard line. He doesn't want a touchback here. He wants to knock this ball inside the 10. So this one goes into the end zone, and that'll be a touchback. We're about set to start things up again. He's 
taken down at the 31. First and 10, ball on the 31. Fires that quickly, incomplete. They bring him down in the backfield. It's third down and 15 to go. All on their own 26. Out of bounds around the 34-yard line. McCarthy is waiting for the snap. They'll bring him down at the 33. There's still plenty of time to keep running their offense as usual here. I don't think they need to feel any anxiety about trailing. Quarterback all by himself in the backfield with five wideouts. Runs it right. Nice pickup. It's second down. Six yards to go. Ball on the 37-yard line. Makes it out to about the 50. He's on the run, and they got it. They simply have too much speed for this offensive line. They're just too quick off the ball. From their own 49-yard line, Second down. Kill, kill, kill. Yellow. Pass, pass, pass. And he just gets rid of it. And he's going to come up with a sack. The sack makes this a fourth and very long. Glover is the punter. Brought down at the 29-yard line. Tulane's not going to back down from anybody, Herbie, I guess, at least not today. No, not today. They played with a chip on their shoulder. They've stood toe-to-toe -to -toe with the big boys, and I don't think they're finished yet. So you wonder what kind of excitement we'll see this time around. There's a strike complete. He's to the 40. Tackle made at the 48. From the 48-yard line, first down. Ready, 
He's at the 30. He makes his way to about the 28. He's tackled at about the 17-yard line. First and 10. Ball on the 17-yard line. Got some open field. Nice play to set up first and goal. That makes it first and goal. From the one yard line, it's second down. Touchdown, Knights. He makes the PAT. like they're ready for the kick. He really got a hold of that kick. He's to the 20. He's tackled at the 27. The Knights continue to get it done on the defensive side of the football, Kirk. Yeah, they've done a good job of building this lead and almost determined here to protect it. Let's see if they can hold on here for the rest of the way. They were forced to punt the ball away the last time they had it. They'll be looking for a little more out of their offense on this possession. Down two possessions. This offense has to step up and capitalize on this possession. And they bring him down for a sack on the play. Defense back here on the second and 13 situation. Brought down at the 22. This is picture perfect defense by this corner. Great job of providing run support. It's third and 15. Ball on the 22 yard line. They come out on an empty backfield. He's under pressure. Gets past the tackler. Bumbo! And the offense will recover. They'll knock him down for a loss. They nearly gave that ball away. But luckily that guy was paying attention to what was going on and was able to recover the football. Fourth and long here after the sack. Glover awaits the snap. He steps out at the 41. Pretty good job by the return man there. The offense ready for the first play of this drive. They moved the ball extremely well on their last possession on their way to the end zone. They get nice yardage on that run. Around four yards there on the quarterback keeper. That makes it second and six. Second down and six. Ball on the 37-yard line. And they make the stop right around the 34. That's three down and one to go. The Knights lead it by 12.
All right, we're just about set to start action here again in the fourth quarter. He's at the 20. Tackle at about the 15-yard line. First down, 10 to go. Ball on the 15. The 10. Up the middle for a nice game. on the pass and they'll pick up the first down it took some composure on the quarterback's part here to stand in there and make the throw with the blitz coming in well done first and goal from the three let's see if they can muscle this one in touchdown UCF oh that's a great job with some tough running right there when you get close to the end zone things get very tight it's tough to maneuver Tacks on the extra point. Central Florida is ready to kick it away. Jackson fields it at the three. He makes it out maybe to the 26-yard line. The Knights have really been all over the place. They're playing like a defense possessed. I love to watch a defense just pin its ears back and just fly to the football. They are playing with a reckless attitude, and it's really paid off because it's set up their offense to be able to score points. Both sides have made their way back out, and we're just about set to get going again. Throws falling back and got his man, and he's hit before he can go anywhere. That makes it second and two. So it's second down and about two yards to go. Here they come. about the 43 yard line. From their own 43 yard line, it's first down. In the shotgun and five wideouts. And he's tackled right away. Quick throw out to the receiver. Seven yards there. Good decision here, nice dump off. It's only seven yards, but the offense will take that play every time. The sack. This quarterback has to do a better job of avoiding the rush because sacks can be real drive killers. And once again, they'll come to the line, try to convert on third down. They come out in a five wide set. He's under some heat, and he's going to be sacked. The smart quarterbacks and offensive linemen have a really unique relationship. A quarterback should take care of his offensive linemen. But after that play and that hit, you really got to be wondering what kind of relationship this quarterback and his offensive linemen have after that. It's fourth down, and they're going to try to go for it. And 
down he goes around the 49 yard line. Both teams are well aware that a score on this drive is going to create an almost insurmountable lead. This defense has really got to step it up and make a stop. Got a man. Watch out here. They'll bring him down at the 45. They need about three yards to get the first here on second down. Fires it out. And he's taken down right around the 32-yard line. Nice run there. So he calls his own number and gets about six yards. So it's second down now, and they need about four yards to pick up the first. Just under three to go in regulation. He's taken down at the 23-yard line. Three-yard gain by the running back. yard line well you think about receivers coming over the middle taking shots from the safety but a runner who's still in the backfield this guy just flies all over the field they'll call on the field goal unit here for this long field goal attempt it up and he splits the uprights the kicker looks like he's ready to kick this one off he'll return it from the four yard line he gets out to about the 25 yard line you know who's been wreaking havoc again. I think all great defenses have a player on their side of the football that kind of inspires them. And I think it's very clear that this young man has provided that for this defense. And I'll tell you, Brad, I think he's just so big and athletic. He's just a nightmare for this offensive line. They just cannot do a very good job sustaining blocks against him. So they're just about set to get the game going again. Just over a minute in the fourth quarter. Take him down immediately. So it's third down, and they're just inches away from picking up the first down. Throws quick to the receiver, and it falls incomplete. That makes it fourth and inches. Glover is waiting for the snap. He's got the corner. And he's taken down at the 41-yard line. Well, the guys are chomping at the bit down there, waiting for the game to start back up. He 
He makes it out to maybe the 43-yard line. up with the final score 31 9 Knights that's it for this presentation of NCAA football 14 for Kirk Street I'm Brad Nessler saying thanks and we'll see you soon